Let me show you how to set up kick loyalty points and a shop. We'll be using a free tool called Botrix, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. We're gonna log in with one of these four options first. It's gonna bring us to the profile tab here. You're gonna scroll down till you see the kick option and you're gonna follow the instructions to link your kick account to your Botrix account. Once you've done that, you should see this green settings button. So we're gonna click on the green settings. It'll now change our platform to kick in the top left corner. Then we're gonna go to the chat bot. We're gonna go to the modules, make sure that the chat bot is enabled in the top left corner and then we'll see the level system and point system behind my webcam and make sure that both of those are enabled now we can go to the loyalty tab on the left hand side and you'll see the ranking tab which will show all of your viewers with their points however if you haven't set this up already it should be blank because nobody has any points makes sense right in the top right you can see the settings option and you can adjust the amount of points people get every five minutes and if you have the botrix premium then you can adjust more settings but this is really the most important one so you can adjust your points here and click keep. Now we can go to the store tab right here. You'll see that I already have redemption here, but before we make another one, we're gonna copy this widget URL by clicking the copy button. We're gonna go to our streaming software. I'm using OBS Studio for this example. We're gonna go to the sources tab in your streaming software, click add source, add a new browser tab. We're gonna call this one loyalty alerts and we're gonna hit okay. We're gonna paste in that URL we just got and hit okay. And this is where the alerts will be showing up when people redeem from the store. And if you guys are wondering where I got this really cool overlay package from, I actually got it from today's sponsor, OwnPro. OwnPro is really cool because once you install it to your OBS Studio, you can get this little tab at the top, go to Overlay and Alert Store, and for free, you can actually get a handful of these little packages here. So all you have to do is click on one that you like, like this one. It'll give you a little preview of everything that's included in this package. And then all you have to do is hit Install, give it a couple seconds for it to download and install. And then you see we have a brand new overlay package free of charge, which you can go in and customize to your liking. And if you don't like it, you can just go back to your scene collection and go back to the scene that you were working on, like the old one we were working on here. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you're interested. But now that we have our loyalty alert box on our streaming software, let's go back to Botrix. Now we can add a new store option. So we can have this little plus button right here. We can change what this is gonna be called. So for example, let's just make it a jump scare. So I'm gonna call it jump scare. Then we're gonna change this insert name here. We're gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna call it jump scare. So then we can change the price to whatever we want. I'm probably going to do like 200, make it a little pricey. We can enter description like scare Cody with this redemption. And you can change how many items are there. If you're a premium member, honestly, you can just leave it at endless. If you're not, you can change the mode, which determines if the user should enter text or not. I'm just going to leave it on normal. You can change the cooldown, which will make it so if you don't want it to be spammed or anything, then you can set a higher cooldown. So let's say every minute someone can trigger it, but no sooner than that, if they want to go back to back for the action, this can get a little confusing, so pay attention. Basically, you just want to choose an action for whatever you want to appear on the alert. So, for example, if you want a picture to show up, we can hit this little plus button next to picture, and it'll bring it up down here. Or, if you want audio to play, so for the jump scare, we want audio to play, probably a picture too, just to show that it worked. So, we'll go to audio, we'll hit the plus button, it'll bring that down there, and we'll get to that in just a second. For the duration, this is going to be how long the image or sound lasts for. I'm going to make it just about, like, I don't know, three seconds should be good. For the volume, I'm going to leave it at 100% because I hate myself. And then if you're a premium member, you can go and adjust further settings, but honestly, they're not necessary. So now that we have the pictures and audio, we have a message which says, thank you for redeeming this item from this user, which is cool. I'm going to leave it like that. If you want to upload your own picture, if you have a picture that you want to use, then you can click this green button to upload it. But if you're lazy like myself, then we're going to hit this blue button right here. It'll show you an image gallery that people can choose from. So I'm going to find one that's like kind of spooky, scary, maybe this little skeleton, I guess, or we can just type in scary in the search bar, hit search. There we go. Now we got something better. Let's go with this creepy. I don't even know what that is. Comment down below if you know what that is. And if you don't, then just comment down your favorite spooky emoji, like a ghost or something. So we picked out that GIF for the audio. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit this little blue button. I'm just going to type in a jump scare, hit search, and then I'm going to go ahead and play this by clicking it. <laughs> Sounds good enough for me. So we're gonna select that. We're gonna press select. And by the way, you have to hold and click when you go to listen to those, just in case you're wondering. But I like this the way that it is, so I'm gonna hit keep. It's now gonna make a new jump scare selection right here. So let's go onto our kick channel and check it out. I'm on my kick channel right now. We're gonna go to the chat tab. I'm gonna go over to my chat, which is conveniently below my webcam. I'm gonna type in exclamation point shop. By default, it should bring up the shop options. So Botrix just says, 
said, hey, you can see the channel shop right here. So I'm gonna click that. It's gonna bring the user to my little shop and they can either get a shout out with their points or the jump scare. So for 200 points, if they have 200 points, they can click on buy. And it's gonna say, in order to use this, paste this command into my chat. So I'm going to hover over it. I'm gonna highlight it. I'm going to copy it with control C or right click copy. We're gonna go back to kick. I brought up OBS as well so we can see the jump scare alert happen. So I'm going to paste in the alert I just got. I'm going to hit chat. And now it's gonna play the picture and the annoying sound right there. So we can move that. We can also crop it by holding alt to make the box more there if you got OCD like I do. And if you're curious how many points you've accrued, you can type exclamation point points and it will tell you how many points. Right now I'm the owner, so I have infinite amount of points. So beware my power. So now that we successfully used a redemption, we can go to the sales record page. If you don't see anything, press the refresh button. You can see that we've used our jump scare for 200 points. So this is just for bookkeeping in case you need to know if you've done something. So that way you can just hit this little check mark if you have, and that'll just say that you have done that action. So that way you don't forget. But watch this kick playlist to the side of me. It has everything you need to know about kick streaming. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.